Hello everyone, Joe Arcino Martino Puccio back here with you on Soccer Showdown, breaking down everything in the world of this incredible 2018 World Cup in Russia. We're going to set you up for all of your matches on June 23rd. Always, it will begin at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Martino, let's kick things right off with Belgium and Tunisia. Obviously, Belgium kicked things off really well. They won their third, first match 3-0 over Panama. Lukaku scores a, delivers a brace. What are you expecting from this one? I think I'm actually expecting more of the same. I was really impressed by Belgium taking advantage of a weaker team like Panama. I know coming into this tournament, I had my reserves about Belgium just because they needed to prove themselves a lot more. They were really young last tournament. They struggled just to beat USA. They got knocked out by Italy in the Euro in 2016. But they took advantage of their opportunities. Romelu Lukaku, like you mentioned, he stepped up, scored the two goals. I expect more of the same against a weaker Tunisia side. I think a lot of people are going to be in your camp. And they've got England behind them as well, mm -hmm. who've really had a really nice victory over Tunisia yep. as well. Harry Kane, a late winner in that one. We go now to South Korea and Mexico. Mexico delivered a stunner over Germany. The, when you looked and they, they showed you crowds yeah. gathering in Mexico City, the people there, you can't describe the electricity that generated from that victory. Martino, they've certainly got a, little, a lot of momentum here. Yeah. Who do you like in this one? I like Mexico, but I am a little weary of them just because running on such a high beating a team like Germany, the defending World Cup champions, it's a lot. And I mean, they didn't take advantage of all the opportunities that they had. Yes, they dominated the game against Germany, but they should have won that one three or four nothing, not just one nothing. So if they're able to take advantage of those opportunities and do a better job in the final third, then they should be getting another three points and looking on to the round of 16 because they have been very impressive. This is their golden generation, and they're proving that they've been here before. Mexico in Group F is right behind Sweden, and Sweden next has Germany, the defending World Cup champions. Again, we just mentioned not a pretty start when they lost to Mexico. But Martino, they've got championship pedigree. Mm -hmm. Sweden is a good side as well. This is a historic rivalry. What do you think we're going to see in this one? I think this is going to be Germany bouncing back because I think Mexico kind of poked the bear while he was sleeping because this is such a talented Germany team. I don't think it's going to be like the past two World Cup champions where Spain and Italy just didn't make it outside of the group. This Germany team is way too good, way too talented from back at the keeper all the way up top to their subs on the bench. They know what this means and not making it out of the group stage is a big deal. I think they respect Sweden. But I think they'll punch them in the mouth, and they, they could win by multiple goals. I think they're that good of a team, and I don't think Sweden is ready for the magnitude of this kind of match. The World Cup champions getting a wake-up call. Everyone, that wraps things up for this episode. I'm Joe Arcino. He's Martino Puccio. Thank you for listening.